Welcome back to Bat Fridays here on One Comic Book a Day. We're covering Batman issue 12 and the first story, Brothers in Crime. A trite little story that I wish focused more on the actual brother. The problem with Batman, well, sometimes not actually the problem with Batman, but a problem here is that it's full of action. And because of that, it cared more about setting up action than dealing with the brother's story, which just becomes banal especially if the action isn't particularly very entertaining, as in fighting the same mobsters like four or five times in the story. This is an anniversary issue, and I'm not sure why. It is the 12th issue of Batman, which could denote that Batman has existed for about a year, but that's not true. It comes out bi-monthly, as in every other month, not twice a month. So it's definitely not been around for a year. It's not like the fifth year anniversary of Batman. It's not any anniversary. We don't really celebrate 12th issues maybe the 20th or the 25th especially 50s and 100 but the others aren't like huge milestones so congratulations on the 12th issue batman unless there's been like a hundred stories combined which isn't no it's been about 80 it's definitely not been about 100 stories as an anniversary issue we see the hall of trophies and this is actually something that will continue with batman that he likes to keep things he likes to keep trophies of famous cases, or the Batcave is just full of some memorabilia from different crimes, like the penny from the penny plunder. Not Two-Face, that's not where that coin is from. And they do reference few stories, though at least half of them took me a second to remember those stories specifically, which is not a good sign to those stories. The story follows Pete Rafferty, who is being let out of prison and does want to do good now. He has gone straight. The problem is his two brothers are pretty much manipulating him back into crime. His brothers are committing crimes in metal bulletproof vests, which they seem to think make them immortal, like the cops can't shoot us. I mean, a large chunk of your bodies are still not bulletproof. And also being hit in a bulletproof vest, especially when it's metal, it's going to hurt. Like, that's putting a massive bruise on you that could actually do damage to your lungs depending on the impact. But no, they're immortal. Though Batman and Robin keep proving otherwise as by punching them in the face. Both brothers end up getting killed due to the bulletproof vest. One is picked up by a junkyard magnet and dropped into the crusher. Batman can't do anything because he gets knocked out by a blow to the back of his head, which of course is his greatest weakness. The other one falls into water and drowns because the <laughs> vest is too heavy. Batman and Robin are right by him. They don't even try to save him. This is actually not a great issue for Batman when you really think about it. Pete tries to run away, and the problem with Pete is... Though he doesn't want to commit these crimes, he kind of goes along with them, or he's, he's at least around, he is an accessory. He doesn't really try to stop them, he just kind of complains beforehand. And there's definitely like an interesting idea if we were actually dealing with Pete in each crime, but we just get that one scene and then we deal with like an action scene. It doesn't really care about Pete, it just wants to get into the action. And it just makes the story banal. Well, if his two brothers are gone, he tells the gang he's running away and tries to go around in a disguise until he gets found out at a carnival because his weight doesn't match the guy who's guessing it due to the bulletproof vest. Yeah, he's wearing it too now. But his downfall comes in trying to help some people where the power is down and he's trying to put back up the power so a kid can be saved during surgery. This comes up really quickly. It's maybe like five or six panels. It's like in the last two pages. Once again... We could have focused on this. This was actually one of the more interesting parts of the story. But because of having to do this work, he takes off the bulletproof vest, is found by one of the gang members, and shot and killed. But he does save the kid. So he does something good after not really doing anything for most of the issue. It's like after the brothers are killed, it remembers the whole thing of his own conflict. Batman does take up the guy, and they do try to save him. So Batman is around for this. But overall... A story with some promise that really cared about the action and not the character itself. Ideally, they go hand in hand. That is it from Batman number 12, an anniversary issue for some reason. <laughs> Brothers in Crime, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notifications when new videos are up. I do this Monday through Friday. But Mondays and Thursdays, I cover a Superman story in either Action Comics or Superman. And please join me next time, same bat day, same comic book channel. Have a great day.